what is the thing that makes this film festival unique? You t talked about a theme of this film festival. Tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the film for the Film Society is in, in uh, you know, international independent cinema is our theme. Mm -hmm. This festival right now has one, uh, our theme for this festival is called Chasms and Bridges, and it really is you know what separates people, what brings people together. You know, we're looking, we're trying to find films that sort of support that idea, and so we're trying to you know it's not some deep political process. I'm not saying that, but there are things that are actually in our world now, which is a really tough, dangerous unfortunate world we're living in right now. So what separates us and what can bring us together? Um, what, how do we build these, these bridges? And, and that's kind of what we look for films in this festival. So there's a number of thing, films we have that are about everything from racism and gender issues, transgenders in the military. Um, you know, the, some, there was one called Dark Money, which is really kind of about, unfortunately, money in America and how it affects everybody. Um, and how that's sort of manipulated. There's the one on, on the art world that's just about how the art world is manipulated. Uh, it's all based on money, based on what people tell you it's worth and not necessarily what it really is worth. Um, we have obviously films here uh, that are made from Minnesota that are really about uh, gender issues. Um, again, we have a tendency in Minnesota to be much more liberal in some parts of the country, but that's a film, films we have those kinds of films at the festival. So it's, that's kind of what, what we look to try to do. But there are films from all over the world, from every nation. In, in, in the world that we try to look for those films. And we consciously say, what do we have from Africa? What do we have from China? What do we have, you know, the Latino film fest, um, Latino films? What do we have from Scandinavian countries? So it's not just like we take everything, we actually go in and say, what can we do to represent? Since this state is one of the few states in America that has so, you know, bicultural, and we try to address the cultures that are here in the state. 